So today I'm going to talk about using a Google Form along with My Maps to do something kind of cool. So I'm modeling this with something a little bit silly. Um, I ask a group of people, uh, what was your first concert that you saw? So as you can see, I've created a Google Form, ask them for their name, ask them for the city and the state. I ask them for the venue, and I'll explain why um, in a minute. It didn't work so well when I tried it the first time. But then asking <clears throat> who was the first person or band that they saw, what was their favorite song at the conference, and then asking them for their Gmail or their GAFE address, because what you're going to see is I'm going to use the data from this form to bring into a map and then use the power of my maps to share the map with them so everybody can uh, create on the map. So I used this uh, once uh, a couple times. Uh, last time I used this was in Ottawa. And so I had a bunch of people that filled out the form, and it looked like this. So I have a whole bunch of people that uh, filled out the form, gave me the data that I wanted. And then what I want to do here is I want to go into my Google Drive. And if you're not aware, my Maps is now connected to Google Drive. So it's kind of cool. I can just click New, go down to More, and one of my choices is Google My Maps. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to pop up a map. And notice it says Untitled here. I'm going to click on the title there hopefully. And I'm going to change the title of this and I'm going to say Demo Rock On. Because that's what we're doing right now. And I'm going to click Save. And notice before I can import, and where do you think I'm going to import from? You guessed it, from the Google Sheet. But I can also notice I can add multiple layers, but I can also share my maps the same way that I would share a document, which is why I collected the Google or the GAFE addresses from the people. So I'm going to import my data. So if I click import here, it's going to give me a choice to upload if I had separate data on a, on a spreadsheet, but I'm going to go into my Google Drive and I'm just going to start to type in first concert. Hopefully I'll write in the universe and it'll show up. And then it does something kind of cool. It, it looks at all of the questions that you ask, it fetches that document, and then it pops up like this. And it says, select the column from the file where you want us to put place marks. And so I'm going to go with the city and state where you saw your first concert. Now, I was toying with the idea of doing a venue. And if you gave me the right name of the venue, like my first concert was at the Seattle Center, um, you would have been able to actually map that. But I noticed that not everybody knows what the venue was. And so it's much better to stick with city. So I did. And I'm going to click Continue. And the next thing it's going to ask me then is what do we want to title our markers? They're all going to come in those standard red markers. But we can obviously change that later. But we're going to title these the band that they saw. So the first person slash band that you saw in concert. And then all this data is going to stay in the, in the map. So watch what happens when I click Finish. It falls right in the universe. Something really cool is going to happen here. And this, was lot, this is actually what happened with the people from Ottawa. And boom. So we get their place marks all over the country where they saw their first concert. And so let's go down to Puerto Rico. Hover over Puerto Rico. If I click on it, I can see that that first concert, somebody saw Billy Idol, uh, Natalie did. Uh, she saw it in Port au Prince, Haiti. I, I, I was mistaken there. Uh, and her favorite song, she doesn't have one there. Um, but let's say it was White Wedding. And let's say down here I could add an image or a video to this place mark. I'm going to click that. And I'm going to do a, a, YouTube, a video search. And I'm going to say Billy Idol white wedding and what the heck I'm gonna put live just to see what happens oh there it is live 2006 Billy Idol click on it select it save it and now not only do I have this map of first concerts of everybody that was in Ottawa when I was talking to them but now I also have the ability to play Billy Idol right from that map All right, I get to play a few old songs which is kind of cool, right? And then what if I wanted everybody to do that? I didn't want to have to add all of their stuff. I wanted them to do it. So I can click on share right here, and it's going to ask me to invite people, right? Well, remember, I collected their Google information here, so I can just quickly grab that information, copy that, go back here, and I can then paste it in there, and then I can share that information. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to hit cancel because I know some of those addresses didn't work. And so in that way, I can use the power of Google Forms.
to have people give me information. That information goes into a spreadsheet. Then I use uh, my maps to be able to create this amazing um, map where obviously I did concerts for fun, but imagine doing historic battles or doing um, uh, different Native American tribes or different uh, cultural artifacts from around the world or whatever it would be. But it's a pretty cool way and um, it'll impress your friends to be able to combine the power of Google Forms, Google Spreadsheets, and Google My Maps.